I'm at the UF Health Proton Therapy Institute with Dr. Eric Brooks. You're a radiation oncologist, so thank you so much for having me today. No, well, thank you for having me here yeah. today. <laughs> well, we're talking about advancements and new developments with lung cancer treatment. So what are you seeing out there? Yeah, so we're actually seeing a lot of advancements with lung cancer treatment. Um, there's a couple of uh, really important ones that I want to talk about. The first one is we have done a tremendous amount of work across the globe to figure out what drives lung cancer, what creates it, why does it become resistant to our traditional treatments. And we're finding more and more now that there's certain uh, mutations or these little type of errors in the DNA or the blueprint inside of lung tumor cells mm -hmm. that actually we can create drugs for that target them very nicely. Oh. And this is leading to better outcomes for patients who have them. Um, another thing that we're seeing, and you may have heard about this a couple of years ago, but the Nobel Prize that was awarded for advancements in immunotherapy. So harnessing someone's immune system to actually fight biology, the tumor, with biology. It's amazing. Your white blood cells. It is amazing. And um, we are actually saving an additional one in seven to one in 10 people with lung cancer just from immunotherapy alone. Wow. So from the landscape of drug therapy, we are seeing tremendous improvements throughout the lung cancer realm, uh, more so than perhaps many other disease sites even. What about advancements in radiotherapy specifically? In, I'm glad you asked. So we're also <laughs> seeing a, a breadth of advancements there too. Um, one thing that's really special that we've seen uh, in the past couple of years have been the way that we think about patients who have metastatic disease. That means a tumor that's moved outside the chest to somewhere mm -hmm. else in the body. And classically, we've talked about people who have tumors as either having curable disease or treatable disease. Mm -hmm. And in the past, when people had tumors that moved around the body, we said, we're going to give them chemotherapy, we're going to give them drug therapy, support them as best we can, give that quality right. of life. Um, then some people started to say, what if we zap these spots um, that are there in the body? If, if doing so um, helps us basically prevent those spots that exist from shedding off more tumor cells right. and leading to more spots popping up. Mm -hmm. And so we said, what if we zap them all? This is called an oligodefinitive approach with radiation, with mm -hmm. oligo meaning a few and definitive meaning we're going in for the kill. Um, and what we found is that by doing that, not only do we reduce the number of new spots that pop up in these patients who've had tumors that have moved outside, but it also increases the survival, um, which is a really important thing. It causes people to live longer, and so that's a huge advancement. Yeah. The one other advancement that I'll just mention briefly is uh, for early stage patients where they have tumors that are still confined there in the chest, we've really made a lot of advancements and even perfected the technique called SABR or SBRT. Um, Saber because it's kind of a cooler name, mm -hmm. but they're both the same thing and they just use very high dose radiation very precisely to a small area to zap or ablate it, um, very similar to doing surgery. And what this does is we found is, um, even in a report just this past year, doing so with radiation which carries potentially fewer side effects leads to potentially just as good of outcomes as surgery. And so more and more people are enjoying this treatment um, with fewer side effects, and so it's an area of ongoing investigation. Well, let's talk about proton ther therapy specifically and why that would be a good option maybe for a lung cancer patient. No, absolutely. So proton therapy, you know, protons are like little bowling balls. <laughs> uh, you go ahead and you speed them up, and depending on how fast they're going, that's how deep or how far they're going to go into oh. somebody's body or tissue. Okay. Um, so by doing that, we can really control where that radiation is going to go, and then as soon as they stop, nothing... Um, in front of them sees any of the treatment. Mm. So when you're thinking about lung cancer patients who oftentimes will have other lung problems or lung health issues such as uh, emphysema or COPD, mm -hmm. you really want to spare that normal lung and especially the heart the most in these folks. Right. And so what we're doing is we're using protons to go ahead and really target that tumor but spare that lung which may already have some issues with it right. and also the heart nearby. So it's a very special form of treatment that I think benefits um, a lot of folks when they're selected um, to be able to get it. Yeah, advancements in technology and science, it's amazing. Well, thank you so, so much for telling us about it today. Definitely, you know, thank you for having me here. Of course, and if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.